What's good, everybody? Uh, so it's been a little while, like little, little, very little, very little. Um, a uh, while since we've done a FIFA mobile video, um, but I still love all my FIFA mobile fans out there. We've been a little while over in Amsterdam. Uh, we were doing some capture for the FIFA 20. If you haven't checked out all our FIFA 20 videos, uh, we got to meet some awesome people down there. We did a video out there with Castro. Uh, we just dropped one this morning with Chew Boy and Reeve. It was so much fun. Um, had an absolute blast there. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to check those out. Uh, but it's FIFA Mobile today. Today we're talking right now about the new FIFA Mobile season. We have the official, the official release date for the new game. We now know when it's gonna drop. You know when you gotta mark your calendars off and come back to this channel to see some epic FIFA Mobile 20 content. We'll still keep doing the FIFA console stuff. Uh, we'll do the FIFA Mobile stuff on the side as well. I kinda wanna, you know, mix and mingle it all in together. I know a lot of you like kind of uh, the console things, a lot of you like the mobile stuff, so we'll uh, we'll do it all because why not, right? Stop DDoc says yes. But first thing I wanna talk about is just some of the new things that they got going on. It seems that they've actually like straight up super listened um, to a lot of the things that we suggested in our uh, video that we did a couple weeks ago of features that we wanted to see um, in the new season. The only thing I feel like we talked about there that I haven't seen pop up and I got fingers crossed and I think you should do that as well um, that they're going to bring in is a some form in whatever way it happens to be of foot trap. Now it does sound like they like you know there's this uh, first post that they put today where they launched the uh, everything well not launched they, they talked about the launch of the new season uh, September 18th. So they're providing more information about the season as we get closer to launch. If you're curious about what carries over, read the article here. So more information tells me that possibly, maybe, hopefully, that means that maybe there'll be something along uh, FUD draft coming out. Haven't seen anything about it yet, but if I was gonna release something about like like draft, I would do it very close to it because I'd be like, yo, this is this is the hypest thing. I think that's like probably one of the most like wanted things out of it, except for maybe play a friend, which we know is coming there. Um, so the first thing we'll look at is just everything that's gonna carry over, just so you kind of have an idea of, of what to expect when you're starting the new FIFA mobile season that is starting next Wednesday. September 18th. I'm guessing that's like a Pacific time kind of thing. Usually they launch around 1 o'clock, uh, 12 o'clock. Um, sometimes they launch a little bit earlier. We'll try and live stream the morning of. Like We'll do like a big long live stream leading up to it. Um, I always have fun doing those things and I know it gets hyped on that. So uh, it's launching this, uh, this September. They want you to get hyped. Uh, for the new season of FIFA Mobile, the action kicks off earlier. Yeah, quite a bit earlier, like a whole month, actually like two months earlier. Um, and then previous season, and we can't wait to share the details for all the features and content that will be added to the game in the following week. So there you go. They're going to be sharing all of the next week. So again, check back here. We'll tell you everything that's coming in the game when that happens. Um, and and so, so lace up your boots. I'm actually not wearing shoes right now. Um, so that I can do, but uh, when I uh, what can I expect in the new season rollover? Uh, they make fresh improvements to the game, the features, gameplay, content each season while maintaining everything that you love about the game. Just in previous years, the FIFA Mobile Journey will roll over onto a new season for the first time ever. We're getting the Legacy Squad. So if you haven't seen anything about the Legacy team, uh, basically it's your starting 11 that you have. So if you want your Legacy lineup, it is only your starting thing. And a lot of people say, it's the one I use for verse tack, the one I use for head to head. It's the one that is selected as your starting lineup. So like the one that you have there that shows your starting 11, doesn't matter what you name it, it's the starting one. It's the active lineup that you have. That's the one that's gonna carry over. Um, so it's active lineup starting 11. So when you click it, it should say active lineup. You, it should be the grayed out one, you know, on the active lineup there. That's the lineup that you want. If you're really worried you're gonna do it wrong, you could just like delete all your other lineups but that one. Uh, but that's gonna be the lineup that you're gonna get. You know we're going for the full Arsenal squad, uh, but I'm interested. What's the squad that you're running with? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and then you know what we're gonna do too? I'm gonna say this right now. We're gonna do some uh, some FIFA point giveaways, I feel like, for the new season. I think it's been a while since we do this. So we're gonna put together a FIFA point giveaway. Go for your, uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, as the game starts getting closer to launch, we'll do some giveaways and those things as well um, to thank you for like all your continued support with us throughout the season. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun this season. I, I really, I'm really excited for this season. I think that we're gonna do a lot of cool things. Uh, with player friend mode, we're gonna have so many cool opportunities to do different challenges. Um, I got a lot of people kind of on, on, on the market to come in. Vikings are gonna come back, do some challenges with me, some videos. Uh, we might even bring the fiance on for a video or two, um, but uh, we'll see what happens. So anyways, legacy team. 
Uh, active lineup uh, legacy will only be used in special campaign events and challenges designed specifically for them. The higher the overall, the better rewards you will see. Be on the lookout for the information about rewards and this feature in coming weeks. So make sure you raise your team's overall as high as possible before this season ends. As the players' overalls and attributes within your legacy team will become locked within the new season and ensure you set your active lineup to contain the 11 players that you want to be carried over for your legacy team. So we don't know a ton about what each level is going to give us. It's like better rewards. We know they're sort of grouped every 10 and then basically every Every single one after I think 100 overall gets its own unique reward up to the max which I believe is like 140 something by this point um, but anyways that's kind of how that works so in addition to starting 11 your FIFA points will roll over um, but that seems to be it so no coins no gems spend all your gems uh, before it so that you can get a whole bunch of things um, according to it so what items will reset it says right here gems reset so you're gonna want to kind of invest into those in the preseason if you have some left over account level reset roster except for your legacy team skill boost reset fan Cops, quests, league record, VIP level, training experience, leaderboard, everything really. So that's that's the way to do it. Which ones won't? FIFA point, now and later packs, and user logos. And I'm guessing by now and later packs, they also mean the now and later points, as well as the players that you can get in there. So those are, you know, your Hazard, um, your uh, Honor Herrera, those cards, those are ones that are not going to reset. Um, not all devices can play FIFA Mobile in the upcoming season, uh, so you should visit the EA Health thing if you want to make sure that yours is going to meet the minimum requirements. Um, and they're going to be sharing a lot more in the in the in the future. Uh, so let's go and look at some of these other things. We got the friends list thing. Uh, whether it's your classmates, your friends, or. Uh from around the world or stop the nation. And that's actually really interesting, around the world, because I was thinking for a bit that it was gonna be limited to just region specific, but that kind of makes it seem like we can actually have a real full world tournament. And if we can do that, then we're gonna put together a full real world tournament. We're gonna see who the best person in Stop Z Nation really is, uh, which I'm really excited for. Trying to bring a bit of a competitive scene to FIFA Mobile. You know we've wanted to do that for a while. I'm hoping this will really help out with this. Uh, keep track of your wins, losses, to know who's on top. Add up to 32 friends or foes to your friends list um, and view each friend status as online, offline, or in a match. So only 32 friends, which I would love. I would love to add every single one of you, but there's like 380,000 of you. So uh, I, I might not be able to add every single person, uh, but we'll find, I don't know, some maybe cool ways of adding people to our friends list, stuff like that. Um, so uh, we'll see what happens there. How to add a friend. Uh, you can search for them, recommended friends, or after a match as well. All friend requests are sent to the inbox um, where the user uh, can accept them or decline the friend request. So stay tuned for more details on that. Um, and then again, that's, that's the rest of that we got there. Leaderboards. Uh, so the other thing they talked about was leaderboards. This you've seen a little bit in the demo. Um, seems like kind of a cool uh, different thing. They have the reward tiers. Um, so reward tiers are something that players in the top 50 are used to, um, but it doesn't kind of know where it is. So now they're doing sort of that top 25%, that top 5%, that top 1%, kind of similar to what they do with, uh, you know, the, the rivals matches on console. Um, I'm hoping it also will be some stuff sort of like weekend tournament, um, you know, or fought champs that they have on there as well. Uh, but you got the leaderboard score um, and you got leaderboard groups interesting unlike previous seasons leaderboards are no longer exclusively a global event and everyone playing the game competing against each other while those will still frequently be a part of the game we also have smaller leaderboards where players will fight for top spots on a more level playing field examples of this would come from competing with everyone that's the same verse stack division as you are competing with only 1,000 other people that have a similar overall so that's really cool especially for verse stack because then it's not so much like about who's got the higher overall and stuff it's kind of just playing between those things as well uh, they talk about it being delayed which kind of makes sense because you don't want people sort of going in and like you know hacking the system or whatever they they do i don't know i don't do those things so i don't i don't really know uh gameplay pitch notes i don't really know that there's a whole bunch of things going on in here uh so we know this from before everybody has two new skill moves all of those kind of things um but there's been some other things that they've tweeted about in the past this is a huge one um and i'm very excited about this uh i know there's a lot of you uh who follow us uh from india and so i'm i'm super excited that they've added this for all of you um and anybody else who follows the the indian league so the hero indian super league um and the castle liga un um liga hash i always say league league one i'm gonna say it's league is it legal one I, I i don't i i don't follow it i i'm sorry so i want to know actually too I'm, I'm interested too who should i be who do i want to pack who is like my like who is the player from the india from the indian super league that i want to pack like what's like the number one player that's playing right there right now that i want to get on my squad you gotta let me know in the comments right now you gotta let me know in the comments who i want to add on my team right there um so it's going to release at launch and the hero indian super league will release post launch uh stay tuned for more information uh, so that's a pretty cool one that they got going on there um the other things they have 
uh, if you can move just around the corner, um, is they added uh, perks. Perks is basically a way of having permanent upgrades to your teams in certain areas. Not really sure what that's going to look like. I do wish that there were some videos that went along with these things. You know, like maybe your game changers could, uh, okay, because you have to have game changers first, but you could have some game changers and they could put some videos together for you. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Okay. Um, so league versus league matches, little different things of what you can get it by. Um, and also by popular demand, World Tour 13 chapters of over 800 campaign modes. Uh, nodes, not modes. No, 800 campaign nodes, um, including a Legends chapter. And the Legends chapter, I'm not sure if that's the one that's going to include what we've heard about before, which is the Dan, um, or if it's going to be different Legends chapters, however it would work, but really cool. Um, I really love that they sort of seem to have also li listened to our feedback about more stuff like that lo that long-term thing, you know, Blue Star, Hazard, all of those ones we had back in Season 1 where it's more of a long-term grind, um, so it's not like a two-week thing. So everybody has a chance to get it, but maybe you get it over a longer period of time than someone else. That's pretty cool. Um, so then they also talk about the... Uh, the different um, the play a friend all of those modes which is gonna be awesome and then this one right here we got Zidane you can earn yourself a prime icon Zidane uh, so basically it looks like it's a whole bunch of ways where you can chase prime icon Zidane I'm not sure how it's gonna work uh, it sounds like it might be a little bit of a mixture of like league versus league versus some campaign stuff uh, maybe we'll play some head-to-head -head, some verse attack um, and then it also there's some like some talk and some things uh, that have been going around about how it sort of you can play sort of different things with your legacy team with your head-to-head -head, with your verse attack so we're kind of playing this game the way you want. Um, so based on everything I've been seeing with this, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this season. I feel like we could have some really cool things this season. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that they'll help maybe, you know, support the community a bit, uh, you know, maybe help us give out some like rewards for the tournaments and stuff we put together, but we'll see what happens uh, when the new game drops next week. It's gonna be hype. You're gonna want to stay tuned to the channel here. Uh, so the last thing we got here, just the different overall reward groupings. It doesn't say what's in them, but 40 to 59, 60 to 69, 70 to 79, 80 to 89, uh, 90 to 94, 95 plus. Um, and then after that, all the way up to 142 is gonna be its individual reward section. So that's everything we got going on for the new season of FIFA Mobile. I'm super excited for it. I hope you are as well. Uh, get ready for some hype. Get ready for some big packs, some big pulls, and all those fun things when we drop our now and later rewards. We're, we're, we're saving them up for you. And have a lot of fun. Stop deep. Out.